welcome everyone so today we are going to solve a very nice factorial problem and trust me literally many people could not do it okay now why like that because here we have a variable and that is subtracted by 7 and then there is a factorial sign and here also there is a factorial sign here also there is a factorial sign okay so things get very very tricky in this kind of a scenario so how do we do this okay so something which is very basic to us we'll do that first okay so instead of 6 factorial let's expand the 6 factorial first okay so 6 is what 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 okay and what is your 7 factorial 7 is nothing but what 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 correct because factorial whenever you have any number as a and then it is followed by a factorial sign you just have to do the expansion in such a way that you have to multiply that number and then multiply the next number in the decreasing order so this will get multiplied by a minus 1 a minus 2 and so on and it will go on up to 1 till you reach the number 1 this is very very important okay so this is how a factorial works so now in this case what you will do is see i can write this entire thing as what six factorial or six into i'll just keep the six into five into four into three into two into one as it is okay now what we will do next is we will try and see if we can figure out something else so now over here what we can do is uh, instead of this 6 we can write this as what 2 into 3 okay and then we will try clubbing so see now 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 1 will remain as it is okay and into 7 will remain as it is because 7 is a prime number after this let's club um, 4 into 2 so you will get into 8 right and then we'll club 3 into 3 so basically now you're getting what 7 sorry sorry so 3 into 3 gets you what 9 and then we already had 8 and then we had 7 and then we had 6 into 5 into 4 to 3 into 2 okay so now i can say i've cleared the 7 i have cleared the 4 the 2 and this 3 and this 3 has been cancelled okay and 6 has obviously been uh, broken down into 2 into 3 okay so now what is left is what 5 into 2 so 5 into 2 is 10 so eventually you realized that 6 factorial into 7 factorial is nothing but what 10 factorial okay so now your entire sum becomes very very easy so instead of 6 factorial into 7 factorial we will write it as what 10 factorial equals to x minus 7 the whole factorial now next step is you can directly cancel these factorials okay so now you have 10 equals to x minus 7 okay please understand you can't okay there might be people who would find that why didn't i cancel the factorials over here no 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 then what would have happened is in case of factorial you need to solve the entire factorial first everything when solved which we got as what 10 factorial then you can remove the factorials before that if you do the entire thing goes for a toss i hope this is very very clear to everyone imagine if i had directly cancelled the factorial you would have left with what 6 into 7 equals to x minus 7 so this becomes 42 equals to x minus 7 okay which is absolutely wrong you this is something which you need to always remember that in case of factorial i cannot i cannot individually subtract I cannot in sorry individually I cannot get rid of factorials this is very very important for anyone to remember okay this is one factor one property of mathematics which if not understood well would land up in lot of trouble okay so now what happens is you need to find the value of 10 x right so here we will add 7 on both sides so now we are getting 17 equals to x so now value for x for this particular question is 17 
I hope this is very very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.